Morgan is a sci-fi thriller, um, and it follows the uh, story of a creature that is um, a, an artificial human being, synthetic human being, made from artificial DNA and genetic material. Um, the Morgan is on a kind of accelerated growth pattern. She's incredibly intelli intelligent. I think we figured she must have an IQ of about 300. Very, very intelligent. Also physically very strong um, and uh, essentially very efficient as a, as a, as a human-like organism. Um, she's not a monster. Uh, and it's about her growing up of, uh, essentially and finding out who she is and uh, in doing so, something goes wrong, and uh, a corporate uh, a, 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 a corporate troubleshooter is uh, arrives to figure out what to do with this uh, this uh, creation, whether to terminate or allow it to continue, and that is the story of Morgan. Well, I read a script by Seth Owen, um, which, you know, arrived um, on my desk. Um, I was preparing another movie at the time, just writing a, a, another movie, and um, this seemed to be, you know, had, had a, a good scale that, you know, was, was great to get going. The script was pretty good. We made a few little changes here and there. Um, but, you know, what draw me, drew me to um, Morgan as a script was this fantastic scene, a uh, very long scene that takes place between Morgan and a psychological evaluator. Uh, it's very intense and it reads very intense on the page and I thought, oh, no, we've got to give this a go. So in terms of it being, you know, ready to make, there it was. Let's go. I was very lucky, uh, you know, they were fantastic, every single one of them. Um, and I think they were very focused and, and, and into, the, uh, into the story. So um, my work was, in a sense, uh, made a little bit easier by having such a fantastic uh, group of uh, actors to, to, to work with and collaborate on. Um, yeah, it was, it was you know, I, I will say that when I first got all of them together and had the had the, the pictures on a wall, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in big trouble now. I've really got to do my homework. So yeah, there was a moment of trepidation and uh, anxiety. <laughs> the characters were always uh, written, it was always written as, a, as two central female characters. Um, and as you say, both quite strong and, uh, you know, powerful. Um, I read the script, it, I didn't question it. It was like, oh, okay, great. Um, so there wasn't a conscious decision. It wasn't like the movie was written for two male characters and we went, no, 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 let's wait, let's make it female. It was always meant that way. But for me, I didn't question it. 20th Century Fox didn't question it. And um, over time, actually, while we were making the movie, we began to realize, oh, yeah, this is two strong female characters. No. Well, it depends on, on how you feel about it. Um, I think that we are in need of evolution. And I suppose an idea like Morgan represents the next stage in, in human evolution physically. Um, I think it's important to explore uh, this kind of science. I think it's important to establish, obviously, also very ethical guidelines about how we use it. But, you know, Morgan, the, the science behind Morgan, I suppose, can improve human uh, existence, uh, maybe by how we handle disease, uh, longevity, even reproduction. Are we too many? You know, so we can, you know, look at 
you know, it, it, it will offer us a, a good future, I think, if, if we, you know, find the right ethical approach.